and welcome back to our channel. I'm just having an awkward start because there's people walking around and I'm like, like oh, hi. No, we're not talking do to we want to be those vloggers that are like, hi guys, welcome to you our holiday. What? We do want to be those vloggers, but we can't quite do it. It's not quite in us. At We've the been moment. vlogging for literally you know? like five years now and we're still embarrassed yeah. every time. It's probably those um, two coffees I've had, the anxiety is kicking in. You know, coffee and you know, being slightly yeah. anxious don't go hand in hand, do they? No, but it's fine. No. We're in a little quiet nook at the moment, so it's all good. So we've come away oh, to Gran Canaria. Guys, what a beautiful hotel. We can't wait to show you. This is <laughs> This is literally us because we do all our Oh hi! Hi baby! Hello you! To you. We do all our vlogging literally from our, our house. We hardly ever venture out and when we do we're like so proud of ourselves. Anyway, um, we've come to Gran Canaria yeah. to the most lovely gorgeous hotel and today is a holiday vlog. Woohoo! Very excited. We've got all, all inclusive bands on if you're wondering so, what yeah. these party raver bands are. We said are. in the last vlog we were kind of we were looking into coming to Gran Canaria and we were going to go bed and breakfast but it wasn't that much more to go all inclusive. Love an all inclusive me. Because I put this hotel because it's actually quite close to kind of the resort centre so I'm excited to go and explore now. Yeah, like the kind of, what do they call it? Local area. See, I call it the resort. I know. I I I whenever I'd be like to Karis, oh let's go to the resort today, Karis would think just the hotel pool. Because like the, to me the resort is the hotel, like <coughs> Disneyland Resort. It's like the hotel. But no, Disneyland Resort is the whole the of Disneyland. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously you have the hotels, and you have the theme park. <laughs> she said, come on guys, you said we were going shopping. Anyway, I just call it the resort, um, maybe I am wrong. Anyway, we're going to explore like the local areas. We're here. This is like our first proper day here, so we're still kind of yes. like exploring the hotel and everything. We've come to the little, like shopping centre bit where of we're going to have a little look around yeah, of the hotel. But we're not looking around here. Oh, are we not? We're gonna oh, we're go going to walk to the... To the actual... To the, oh, look like how sunny this is. The resort. The resort. Indeed. I shall use the word as well, resort. Wow, it's so sunny. But it's quite so, early at the moment, so it's not too hot. Yeah. It's like quite nice and breezy. We also but had yeah, a bit of a gorgeous. disaster in, uh, yesterday, travelling yes. here. Yes, oh my gosh. Um, we left one of our suitcases on the transfer bus. We've never done this before, no matter how many times we've travelled. Mm. And it's all a bit of a confusing situation. It is. Uh, because... We were waiting in reception, we just checked in, and the guy came up and said, did you leave a suitcase in on the bus? And I went, oh my goodness, because it was only our small hand luggage. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness, we did, I didn't even realise. And then he was like, oh, okay. And then he went back to reception, and then there was this whole thing, and I assumed the bus driver was very kindly going to come back and drop it off, and, you know, we were going to thank him for his troubles. But then, like, <laughs> we were gonna nothing him. happened, and we went back to reception, they were like, no, it's not here. And then I spoke to the same guy again, and he was like, no. oh no, we, by the time I got back to the phone, you know, the bus driver had hung up. I love the detail. And so I'm just really confused what's going on. And we rang Jet 2 and they hadn't Which had like the any... holiday we were on. They hadn't had any like logging of it at all. So it's like, kind of like at first yeah. it was like, we were like, oh, we're definitely going to get it back. And then now they're like, yeah, we don't know anything about no. this suitcase. So we're so like... So we rang Jet 2 at like half uh -oh. six yesterday evening. Because up until that point, I assumed the bus driver was going to kind of drop it off very kindly. Because um, I know it's our fault. Oh, completely. And, um, they hadn't had any log of it. So now yeah. I'm a bit worried that... It's I gone. Don't know where it is. It's gone missing. So I'm calling again midday to find It's got up our on laptops that. in there. Yes. It's got. But more importantly, if anything, it's got all, all of, of Amber's sleep associations. Yeah. We always go on about the sleep. We're like, everything's fine when you travel as long as you've got the baby's sleep associations because she sleeps really yeah. well in her cot if she has like her sleep sag, her white noise, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but she slept really well last yeah. night without it all. She did. We, we Yeah, she didn't, didn't even have white noise. She didn't have a sleep sag. Yeah. And she yeah. slept pretty well. <laughs> she's loving life looking around she's like come on guys let's go so yes like yeah. a little bit anxious about that yeah obviously we want our laptop back obviously we want all of it back um i want the sleep sack the I most know, probably yeah she's actually fine without it i think she's loving life more without it so maybe like everything happens for a reason she's like proved to us that she doesn't need a sleep sack also and i feel like i'll be charger either. oh phone charger yeah that's a big one as well i feel like i'm gonna be touching my eye a lot today in today's video because i've got a really kind of swollen puffy eczema flare up eye i don't know if you can see it because like i say on a lot of the vlogs the camera does in automatic setting blur <laughs> blur our faces add 10 pounds of blur filter to our <laughs> face so yeah sometimes you can't see it but you might be able to see a little bit of redness but it's really watery and really kind of hurting so i might be pro poking my eye the whole time so yes we have come out of the yes. resort which i would have called the resort but now we are into the resort apparently so we are staying at h10 player melanorvis palace there it is. Um, and we are on the outskirts of kind of the resort, which is called Melanorus. <laughs> so we're walking towards it now. Gorge. 
So the hotel is just there. Well, is it there, the hotel? Just there. Oh, is it? Nice. Then you've got the seafront, and we are just walking down here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, this looks like it's literally just been paved yesterday. Like garden inspo. Literally garden inspo. We want a little, you know, cobbled wall. I love the bench. Oh, okay, that's genius. Oh, no, that is just brilliant. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely stunning. I know. Love it. Don't mind me, just got my cool dude hat on, which James literally takes the mick out of me every time I get it out. Mm -hmm. We are in a bit of a dead -o shopping centre. Yeah. Um, we were looking for a blanket for Amber. We're looking um, for a couple of little things. We left her selling the blanket on the bus in that suitcase. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a really good place that will probably do a lot of things, but it's closed, so. There's some shops open, I think Are they? Are they going to open later, do you reckon? Yeah, like, they all open between now and 10.30. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it's quite early still. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's birds in here. Yeah. Getting in from the sun. We're so exotic. Woo. I can't see them, but I can really hear them. Oh yeah, I can, there's one little one up there. Oh, he flew away. Oh no, he's still there. Oh my gosh, there's so many. It's amazing. Hello! <laughs> Hello, Orangey Pierce around the corner. <laughs> so I've gotten distracted by the Birkenstocks. Yes, yeah, so far no phone charger, no Birkenstocks yet, but we might buy Birkenstocks. <laughs> we might buy Birkenstocks, guys. So I absolutely love Birkenstocks. My mum is like the OG Birkenstocks lover. Like I just grew up to her and my dad loving Birkenstocks. I buy similar ones every year that aren't the right ones. And then I just buy a new pair every year. So I'm like, I just need to invest now in the real OG true Birkenstock um, but when I was looking in the UK loads of them were sold out in the colours that I like and these are the two colours that I really really like like a black or I'm sorry this is gross like foot footage I hope you're enjoying this footage I think I just love these I think they'll go with like black denim but do you just go for a black because you're like safer with it no I don't no, know. I no. Okay. So we picked up Carlos's burger socks, preferred to let her go for the honey. The greeny ones in the end. Look who's out of her pram. <laughs> she loves my hat, guys. She's with me on the hat side of things. James doesn't like the hat. Yeah, she loves my sunglasses. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, we're shopping now, we just lost the holiday. I know. We've just gone shopping. I know. Well, what I like to do, see, on the first day, Tell is I like to have a really good explore of as much of the area as possible. Yeah. So that you know what's worth coming back to. Yeah. Because then for the rest of the week, rest of the week, rest of the week, <laughs> you can then relax and know, this must be fun done, kind of like when you want to then go for lunch quickly or something, you know exactly where you're walking to. Yeah, it's true, it's I true. Like. Yeah. We're setting it out. We are setting it out. So, I think we are now kind of in the resorty centre. It's actually so beautiful here. Apparently that's a really cool lighthouse, which it's we're heading so towards. so nice. All the restaurants look really lovely on the front. And of course, in the middle of them all is a Starbucks. The busiest one of all. The busiest place down. Well, I don't think anywhere else is open at the moment. It's so tempting to go somewhere you know, even though... You just though, feel safe. Yeah, you feel safe, you don't feel you? Like, yeah. like I've only just got around to being able to order a coffee on my own. So if I'm <laughs> going to do it, it's going to be in Starbucks. Because I'm like, I know the decor, I know the cups. And that's the thing, we were like, oh, oh. we'll go and grab a drink and sit down and you need to feed Amber and stuff. No, none of the local cafes are open, open yeah. it looks like. Yeah. But we'll, we'll walk a bit longer and we'll see if we get anywhere. Please excuse Gorgeous. me, I'm doing the whole trick when I'm closing one eye. Yeah. It's so sunny, even though I, got, I could just put my sunglasses on. There you go, now you can't see either of my eyes. But these are polarised and I can't actually see the vlogging camera screen at all. Like it just looks like it's off. James it's crazy. has got very sensitive eyes, so he's a sunglasses lover. I am. He's got a good sunglasses I wear traction. sunglasses like in the winter when driving in the And I'm UK. just, the trusty old hat, guys, does me good. Oh gosh, it's gorgeous down here. I know, it's stunning. Really nice. Hello you, hello you. You are being such a cutie today. You're absolutely loving. You love coming around, don't you? Me too. Looking out and about. Oh, you like the hat. Go Do on you want to put your hat on. on? Go on then. Ready? Oh, cool dude. No, like thank mummy. You. Um, no, mummy. I'm Nothing with dad. On my head. This is embarrassing. Yeah, she really doesn't like hats or anything on her head. And this is the view from the little coffee shop that we found. We managed to find a little local coffee shop. 
Time for a feed and some coffees, I think. Yeah. So we're still having a little look around the area. We're still trying to find a baby blanket for Amber. And also, ooh, maybe I should wear your other sunglasses. James brings like 800 sunglasses with him. Voila, I forgot mine. Yeah, we're still trying to find a baby blanket and also we're still trying to get a hold of that suitcase, which is actually proving to be a little bit stressful. Um, I think we explained the situation. Yeah, it's still not been logged and stuff. That's this morning, that no, tiny. that won't have anything. So yes, it still hasn't been logged. We have no idea where the suitcase is. Like we said, it's got a laptop in, it's got loads of stuff in, but we're trying not to let it stress us out. Like it could be so much worse, obviously, if it had been like an actual suitcase that had like holiday clothes in it. That just would have been horrendous. Like, I don't know if that's ever happened to any of you guys, but I always like just think that that's just the worst thing when you come on holiday and then you probably spend the whole week trying to get that suitcase back and it's just kind of ruins the whole holiday. Luckily, it was just like an extras bag, but even though the laptops are expensive, the thing that we care most about is Amber like having her white noise and her like sleep sack and stuff. Yeah. But although saying that, that was what I felt most stressed about yesterday. Um, what was up here? But today, James is just intrigued with the. He's just whenever we come to new places, he'll just be off on an exploring. I just thing. wonder why like, there's so many people walking from this direction and it's away from the beach. So I don't know. That if, means something good's there. I reckon a bus has just dropped them off to come to the resort <laughs> or something. How exciting. I know, I'm looking at my maps <laughs> to see what's up here. <laughs> now he'll just be on the maps for 10, Absolutely 10 hours. Oh, yeah, that's what I was most stressed about yesterday because I was worrying that she wasn't going to sleep or anything. Look how cute this is. Little flowers and everything. Um, but seeing as she slept actually really well last night, with no sleep sack, no blanket, she was absolutely loving life, rolling around, just doing her thing. Um, that's made me feel a lot calmer because as long as she's happy, I'm happy. So I'm all good with that. But now it's just the actual like laptops and everything. Just really hope that we can get them back. So yeah, that's a little bit stressful, but yeah. try not to let it affect our holiday. Um, no, where I'm we hoping, go to next? Come the end of the day, because they got more flights from the same company into the airport. So I'm hoping the yeah. driver will turn up with it and that he'll be doing another drop off at our hotel. Yeah. So I'm hoping like he's going a bit off script and he's just gonna then just drop it to the hotel tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So we're back at the hotel. Uh, we just given Amber a quick change in one of the toys. Fresh baby. Hello. Fresh baby. Hello. Fresh baby. Hello. Happy baby, because you had a sleep, hey. She had enough of the pram. She did, she was good as gold. She napped the whole walk back, plus a bit. So she had about a 40 minute nap on holidays. Her nap schedule definitely changes and she oh, goes yeah. from having like one or two big naps to just kind of two or three small naps. We just take it as we can, don't we? Because we? we got the heat and the food and everything changes. But we're on our way to the buffet. Yeah, we we're going to the hotel buffet. Um, and so obviously Amber's going to be eating with us. It doesn't open for another quarter of an hour, so I think we might just go and get a drink first at one of the bars. Yeah. So yeah, but I am absolutely bloody starving. Me too. I'm but absolutely oh. chuffed with, oh, there's just people getting out the lift. That was a bit awkward. God, a bit dingy and the lift oh, start. Um, but yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it, the resort? Oh, really beautiful. So nice. And I did Google the word resort, guys. I was wrong. It but, means like location, entertainment. So like, like James said, with Disneyland Resort is obviously where I got in my head that that meant hotel. But that's obviously because Disneyland has hotel and then it has yep. entertainment, food, yep. all of that. So resort just means everything on a whole. It's meant to be so a holiday right destination again. that you don't have to leave that area. Yeah, it's just like everything. You don't for Disney and you don't for Melanora. Yeah, yeah. Is that, so, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Melanora. Melanora. I'm going to ask Melanurus. one of the waiters. Yeah, but it was definitely. gorgeous. Yeah, it was really, really nice. lovely and definitely keen to kind of get yeah. back over there during the holiday and go out for lunch or go out for yeah. dinner one night. Yeah, lush. that would be lush. You remember jumping towards me with your cheeky little grin? You are the happiest little girlie today. <laughs> What's up? Come on then. Come towards me. Ada. Ada. Where's Ada? She's getting our drinks. She's looking at the view. It's a lovely view as well, isn't it? Nice. Off she goes. Hello you. So we've just been Jay chilling on our little sofa under the umbrella. James is just on the phone. I have a feeling that is good news about the suitcase because he just did a mini fist pump. Daddy went, yes, suitcase. We got it, we got it, we got our suitcase. <laughs> She's staring. Dada, dada, dada. <laughs> good news. <laughs> So they do have, they have the bag. Yeah. Um, they have it, so yeah, they have the bag. They do have a booking coming to this hotel. Yeah. On a coach. Yeah. So 
I need yeah, to make sure yeah. they are obviously on the flight for the coach to come here. If he said they're not on the flight, then obviously they'll keep the bag there and we can get a taxi to go uh, get okay. it. Okay. Woo! We got the suitcase bag! The room is a bit of a mess behind me, but we are getting poolside ready. I thought I just really needed to show this bikini for any big boobed. <laughs> James is blowing up the inflatable. And hello, you! Look at those swimmers! Those make me very da, happy. Da, da. Not da da, mama, mama. Da, 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 da. And mama, mama, mama bought you those. Yes. Yes, these, this, sorry, bikini is from um, Bravissimo. If you're a big boobed gal like me, I have very, very limited shops that I can buy bikinis from. So anytime I do, I try and say where they're from. Um, and it has this little tie thing that you can either like not use or use. So like, it, yeah. <laughs> so hard. not that he's dramatic. And it's really nice because it has all this material and even a bit extra that comes down like that, which is just so rare if you have a lot of um, kind of boob that takes up all the material. And then you can like kind of tie it with that if you want it tied. It's really nice and the bottoms are really nice too. <laughs> I don't care. The bottoms are really, really lovely too. I pull mine quite high waisted and I think because of my little like belly pouch thing, they push the material down a bit. So it's got like a, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm beneath a bit, a little bit of TLC. She's what still... <laughs> Honestly, that's the hardest thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. What? Are you okay? But the first one was really easy to blow up, and then the second one, it was like I was resisting the breath. <laughs> I was like, no thank you, we do not want to be blown. <laughs> not that you made much uh, of a drama out of that. Oh, you've got to do it the back. Painful. you got to do the back piece as well. I know. Does she need that? Yes! <laughs> Honestly, what's he like? So yeah, I was just saying, because of my... Um, a little kind of like belly pouch thing. It pushes the material down a bit, so you get like a bit of a white kind of nude line. But I like that. It's cute. I think it's really cool. Um, and yeah, the back of it is like this. And the back. I love it. Do you want to show off your? Do you want to do a you know haul of your swimmers? Where are yours from? Gymshark. Oh, what? Walking ad for Walking ad for Gymshark yeah. every single time. Oh yeah. So did I say where they were from in the end? That was yes, the whole point. Bravissimo. Yeah. Amazing oh, for dear. bigger boobs. Not gifted, not sponsored or anything. Just. Are you gonna get in here, Amber? Is this this is for up to a year? Yeah. So she's getting there. She's getting a little big for it. I know. I can't wait to see what she's gonna be like in it because we took her when she was five months and she went in that and she was kind of like just peeping out the top, wasn't she? She was just like didn't really know what was going on. But now she's so much more confident in the water. Uh. I just think you're gonna love it. I do. After this drama's over, over there, we're gonna head down to the pool. <laughs> Oh, Karis and Amber are just chilling in the morning, in the water. Oh, sun's in her eyes that way around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think um, Karis is having a really good time at the moment, but I'm not sure how much Amber's in love life. <laughs> Bless her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's smiling now. Yeah. Can the cap to come down a bit more? It's a bit small for her, this cap. We've got the wrong there we size, go. we think. There we go, good girl, Amber. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think when she gets used to this, she's gonna love it. Oh yeah, when she like learns to kick and stuff. <laughs> she's gonna be kicking. When she can kick, you'll be kicking up to the side and going, Dad, Dada, 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 get over the ice cream. <laughs> See ya. So I'm off. Ma, ma, ma. Off we go. Very deep. <laughs> struggling. We've done our swim. We're now having a little sunbathe. We've got the perfect set up, haven't we? Amber in the shade. Daddy over on his sunbed. Mummy sitting in the sun instead of <laughs> actually on a lounger because this is okay. This is all good. This is mum life. Because, um, yeah, I just want her to be able to have a little bit of freedom and play. Are you playing? <laughs> in the shade. Mum, mum, mum. You're loving the goggles. <laughs> Honestly, we are absolutely adoring this place, this weather, this life. We're just about ready to move here, to be honest. Like, bikini life, loving it, feeling so happy. We have been sat here for literally 10 minutes, which doesn't sound like a long time, but hello, keep playing. Yeah, keep, as you are. Um, yes, we can see. She's got this little cap, and I don't know what is so fascinating about this side of the water, this little like bit where the water flows and the cap, but she's just been banging it into the water for about 10 minutes straight. Not even joking. You having fun? Duck said quack, 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 quack. So we're just having a little cut while James orders some 
Sorry, should I stop singing? Five little ducks went swimming one day. This teething baby wants a catch. This teething baby loves her songs, especially five little ducks. Five little ducks, we've been singing to you since you were born. We love you. Five little ducks, you know these aren't the words all day long. All day long? That's not, that's not right. That's Coco Melon song, that is. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Bless her, she's got a lot of teeth and pain at the moment. I actually think it's one of her back teeth, like right at the back there coming through. Um, which just seems horrendously painful. But yeah, we're cutching, we're singing, we're ordering some coffees and drinks and stuff and we're just having a great time in the sand. Sorry, what song would you like next? Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. It's just really hard as well. With like, I get really paranoid with like babies in the sun. And last time she was only five months. And I know as they get older, they can obviously wear sun cream and all of that kind of stuff. So she's got all her Factor 50 sun cream all over her, her baby sensitive worm, which is great. Um, but I still get paranoid. I just like take her out of the sun every few minutes just because, you know. I just don't want you to get sunburned, darling. If you're going to be like me, and you probably will, then you're going to have sensitive skin to the sun. So yeah, we're just chilling in the shade. Well, actually, it's quite good. She's in the shade somehow. I think I'm actually shading her by being like that. And I'm in the sun. It's perfect. Hey, we got the suitcase back. Oh, Woohoo! Your bus. little dress. Put it on the bus coming to the hotel now. Sat on five perception. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. So. We are just chilling in the room. Amber's playing with everything but her basket of toys, which she missed so dearly. I was the the Yeah, <laughs> we're back, we're back in action. Everything's good, we're all White good. Noise, so we don't have to use our phones. Little swim turban, so we don't have to wear the blooming, what do you call it? The Sun Factor 50 on your hair. Look at that, we're gonna have a, a nice job washing that out tonight, aren't we? Yeah, you're happy. Just see, this is what she does, guys. We do have two cameras. She does that on the lens, and that's why we have blue footage, Missy. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Look at your dress. You're not used to wearing dresses. It's coming down. Oh, she's breaking my heart today, guys. And every other day, I've just plastered my face. First thing I've got to say with moisturizer. I feel like that's actually okay. Oh, did you get stuck on the remote? There it is. Um, I feel like that's actually uncomfortable to look at, the amount of moisturizer. Hey, the amount of moisturizer that I have on my face right now. <laughs> I'm that shiny. But I found, hello. <laughs> I found something that's really good for my skin because as you can see, I'm having a flare up at the moment on my eye. I don't know if you can actually see that very well. Um, but I do have eczema and I have flare ups constantly, as you guys all know, if you've been following me for a while, I do talk about my eczema flare ups quite a bit. What I have found really helpful at, lately with my face is literally like plastering the moisturizer so it's like a really thick layer. And then after about 20 minutes, I'll moisturize it in properly. So it looks so oily and greasy and feels quite oily and greasy. Um, but I found that after that, I like wake up, like I feel like it really, not wake up, sorry, I didn't finish that sentence. I wake up like tomorrow morning and my face feels so much more moisturized and like much less dry. And dad, 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 he's gone to the gym. So yeah, James has gone off to the gym. We are having a little chill. Um, it's getting to that kind of like end of the day where she's probably gonna start to get really tired. Um, and then when James gets back from the gym or before if needed, um, I'll do her bedtime routine and stuff. And we're gonna do, um, have some food for heat for her in the room. Um, and then do her bedtime routine and do our, what we usually do, which is put her down in the pram um, and then she'll sleep for the evening while we go out for food. Um, so that's our kind of plan for the evening. So yeah, we're just kind of chilling, having a bit of screen time, the TV's on, no volume at the moment. Um, and she's just kind of like playing with her toys on the bed. Um, and yeah, then once she's gone down, I will brush the hair, scrape it back, put on some mascara, maybe. Um, and we're gonna go out for some food. We've had such, such a lovely first day here. Like it's been unreal. Have you enjoyed it? 
Love you. Hada. Hada. Are you, what are you watching? You're watching some sort of tourism program. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, we've had such an amazing first day. Um, and I'm so yeah. happy that I felt so confident wearing... So the swimsuit that I showed you guys earlier, it was probably one of the first like low rise swimsuits that I've worn in like a long time. Um, so many of you all relate to the fact that high waisted swimsuits just feel so flattering. It's okay. It's okay. You just fell over. <laughs> Baby. That's okay. Um, I shouldn't say you're okay. I try and sit and not say it every time, but it just comes out. Like I love all these like parenting things and um, that pop up on Instagram and stuff and they give you like loads of parenting tips and stuff. And I know everyone's got to do their own thing with parenting and stuff, but I love reading them and like seeing with what I, you know, like agree with and want to put in place and stuff. And it's really interesting that you're okay when, like when a child hurts themselves and cries, we're so quick to be like, you're okay, you're okay. When actually it's like quite nice to be like, well, maybe you don't feel okay. And like that's, also okay like it's okay to cry it's okay to feel upset but it comes out like every time even though I know that and I want to implement it um because I think it comes more from a place of like you're okay you're safe like I'm here rather than like you're okay get a grip which is how it kind of I think it, it do you know what I mean um <laughs> is she okay <laughs> yes um so yeah, it was probably one of the first low-waisted swimsuits I'd worn in a while. Ah, right. Um, and yeah, I just, I felt really happy that I felt good in it because I'm sure some of you can relate, but when you are, you know, whether you've gone through weight gain or you're just not feeling 100% with your body, like you feel like everything needs to be high-waisted. Don't get me wrong, I love a high-waisted swimsuit. I could not wear low-waisted jeans. I love high-waisted jeans. They do feel good, but sometimes you love something you come across that isn't high-waisted and you feel like no i can't wear that like my belly's gonna hang over i absolutely can't like so with for example a low-waisted um swimsuit you're like no way my belly's gonna hang over when i sit down it's not gonna look good like people are gonna stare and i feel like i'm so into just like taking away the power of like that whole side of things so being like um so I'm I'm choosing to wear the low-waisted swimsuit and by choosing to do that you are taking back the power you are saying yes my belly is going to hang over yes it's gonna you know cover the bottom of the swimsuit with you know my belly and that's skin and so why is that so much drama like when we take it into our own hands of like yes that's going to happen yes it's going to feel different when i sit down compared to when i wear a high something high-waisted yes my belly's potentially going to look like more prominent compared to something high-waisted but i love this swimsuit i love how it looks and i'm okay with that and when we like make those choices it's like putting the power back in our hands it's like i don't really i want to wear it and so if people choose to judge based on you know your belly hanging over your bikini like we're not there for those people we're not on the side of the pool for those people we wouldn't have those people or want those people in our life so why do we let them determine what swimsuits we wear um but yeah it's such a common thing I, like i said i'm sure so many of you can relate i've been in that situation for years and years and yeah today was one of the first times i actually wore a low-waisted one it wasn't that i wore it and was like oh yay my belly's not hanging over it was it felt different it felt uncomfortable at times still and that's okay like it's okay to still feel anxious to feel uncomfortable but then it's to, uh, good to remind yourself that you made that choice and tomorrow i'll wear a high-waisted one and i'll love that as well you know so it's, it's those little steps it's those those small things that we can celebrate and if you're not there yet and you want to wear a high-waisted swimsuit and not wear a low-waisted one then you do that you know like it doesn't matter where you're at in your journey maybe you don't even want to get to a point where you're wearing low waisted you know what i mean like maybe you don't overthink it that much everyone's on a different journey but i knew for me the wearing of the high waistedness was from a very negative negative place and so for me that was like a small win um and yeah i know i talk i feel like i've been ranting not ranting a bit like talking a lot about um like self-love and with re regards to like fitness and fashion and all that kind of stuff in the vlogs lately um and i know it's kind of one of those things that some people already kind of appreciate it and i get so many lovely messages from you guys and then some people like just don't need that type of content which is amazing but um 
I know that we had a comment on one of the last videos. It was written like in a lovely way, just when I was doing my fitness talk about self-love and saying why I was, you know, how I wasn't in the gym for like how I look anymore and stuff like that. Are you okay? Yeah, what have you got? Um, and the comment was just like, you know, you don't need to justify yourself, like stop worrying and like feeling the need to talk about that. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate that thank you for like saying that, but I do love doing my little self-love chats and I never kind of want them to come across as me being like, I'm not trying to lose weight, I'm not this, I'm not that. Like, I just, I, when I was in the depth of like restriction and hating my body and like covering up and just going through weight gain or when I was actually at my smallest and I was just really struggling with body image and stuff. I, I really needed like to hear these things. And so whenever they kind of crop up in my mind and obviously I'm still on my journey, I do feel the need to like share them. So I feel like sometimes it might seem like I over talk about self-love and I overshare, but it's because for me, it comes from a place of, it helps me on my journey, but also I really wish that I'd heard more things like that when I was in the depth of kind of hating myself and restricting myself. So yeah, love you all. Hope you're doing well. And I hope we all wear our bikinis this summer and feel blooming fantastic because we deserve to. This holiday is about memories. This summer for us all, this year is about memories, laughter, love, life. We're not gonna look back on this when we're old and gray and be like, oh my God, remember what dress size I wore? Oh my God, remember like how good I looked in my bikini in 2022? We're not gonna do that, are we? Like, we're gonna remember what we got up to, what adventures we had, how much fun we had, how much we loved life. So yeah. Right then, Missy, right. I think we're gonna do some food. We're gonna have one of the pouches, I think, because we've done quite a lot of on the go weaning today, haven't we? Are you a fuzzy buzzy? Are you a fuzzy buzzy? Is it nearly bedtime? <laughs> We're creaking and crawling away. So yeah, because we've had quite a lot of food on the go, today we're gonna do a little pouch in the room. We have a little weaning session together. Feeding, weaning, same thing. So we are out for the evening now. We actually decided that we were gonna eat in the hotel tonight, but we're gonna eat in the a la carte restaurant. We get one free meal as part of all inclusive in the a la carte restaurant. Karis looks stunning. <laughs> Come on, let's see the outfit. Okay. Honestly, I was sitting on the balcony reading my book and I was like, wow. You look incredible, girl. It's the new dress, guys, from Looking Meshki. So I invested. No, it, honestly, I really like it. But I do feel a bit like, what am I doing? I'm a mum. I'm a bit. Whoa. Whoa, being a mum is not you. You are so much more than just a mum. Thanks, Phil. You look incredible. I feel great. So, I sorted the camera out. The resort, hotel even, looks absolutely stunning in the background, all lit up. But yeah, like James said, it was really silly to think that. But when I bought the dress, I was like, um, oh, I shouldn't get it. I like, not that I shouldn't get it, but I was like, I'm not used to wearing stuff like this anymore. I just wear my like wrap skirts and mini and like cardigans out for dinner. Um, but yeah, I really Good like gosh. it. Thank you. I feel really like bougie. Can you and hear the party music? <laughs> From yeah. like just in front, there's a little disco -y place just in front of the hotel. I feel like we should, maybe Amber, do you think we could rock Amber on the dance yeah. floor? <laughs> yeah, Amber's sleeping in a pram, and I'm going to show you James's outfit. Moves out. The dad moves. Go on, boo. You see the outfit? Oh, oh outfit. the you. shoes I got him, guys. Yeah, he loves them. Me. The chinos from. The shirt you got me. Yeah, the shirt I got so you. So the only thing I bought were chinos from Ted Baker on our. Is that from Zara? Yeah, yeah it's, a nice it's a Zara shirt. shirt. And then, yeah, they're the chinos you bought on the vlog. So you bought everything for me, basically. Well done. Oh, no, I did it. Sorry, <laughs> did it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the little necklace that I got, which says A for Amber. It's not going to focus, but it did like two seconds ago. Just trust us, guys. It says A. <laughs> there it is. The there she is. That was like not worth the wait. <laughs> and also, can you show my sunburn, <laughs> please? Because yeah, it's, it's just bad lighting. Isn't it? it's very oh, the camera really brightens it up. Does, how dark it does massively. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's there's definitely sunburn there. See? Not. I'm good. not sure. When do you think that was? On the walk or from sunbathing? Sunbathing. You didn't get me to put it on your back. So how did you get it on your I back? I think it's from um, the, the sitting with Amber by when the pool. I sat with Amber by the pool because I was like really good for Why the rest. Why didn't you ask me to put it on your back? I just I thought it would just have lasted, but I don't know because I used hard the spray. To put, to put it on your own back. I know, but at the top I was like, shh. 
really thought it would have, but it's because it was literally beaming on my back because I was like protecting Amber. Being yeah. the shade. You were. Her, you were taking all the UV. I took the burn. Right, okay. we are going for pre drinks now. Before our um, dinner reservation. Pranks. Pranks. Yeah. Pranks. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. Uni. In uni, it was called Pranks. Brilliant. <laughs> good morning. It's actually afternoon. <laughs> Oh my we gosh, have I had know. a good morning though. We have. It's been lovely. We're on the balcony currently. The sun yeah. is shining. Well, we did go um, down to sunbathe and it started to shower a bit. Oh yeah, now the and sun's now out loads. And the sun's out that we've been back to the room for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That is, you know, that, is the time of year. that is literally it. So we had such a lovely night last night. Yeah. We went for food, it was gorgeous. They got the aerobics going in the pool at the moment. You probably hear the tunes. Um, but yeah, we had a really nice night last night. Amber slept really well last yeah. night. Oh no, she didn't. She woke up three times, but like that's that's completely normal for us. Um, so that was good, all in all. Um, and then yeah, we had a really nice morning. It was totally gloomy and like showering. Um, and Amber like slept in her pram and we were like, getting really excited to like go and sunbathe we were like we can just put her there and we can have our little time sunbathing it was like grey clouds we were like perfect yeah, it was freezing it was actually too cold to be it was. even considering taking it. clothes off yeah I wanted to go back to them to get a hoodie I know so we sat there anyway because we wanted to make yeah. a point that she was sleeping and we were enjoying on the sun lounges it was nice it was lovely it was gorgeous we had iced coffees even though it was too cold for an iced coffee it was great I had a hot um, he did. You and always have a hot one. Yeah. yeah. Like it. it makes me drink it slower. I just have yeah. a nice coffee. Yeah. That's true. And I love, look at the little dress. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are quick. When skies are quick. You'll never know. <laughs> um, she's still teething. So. Did you think I'm going to tackle for this long? I thought it was like a 24, 48 hour thing. I literally don't know. But we think it's actually one of the back teeth. So I think they're a lot slower. I just don't know what to think anymore. I do not know. No. We're going with it, it's fine. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hopefully enjoy the sun for the rest of the day. We yes. should be doing that aerobics class. Oh my together. gosh. Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed the holiday vlog. Thank you so much for coming with us on our adventures. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. One day she's gonna be able to do yeah, that. We haven't I think decided it's confusing. Yet if we're gonna film another vlog this. Yeah, no, we have oh yeah, holiday. that's true. We're yeah. Not sure. But um so we'll we see. Might see you in another holiday vlog. We might see you back home, but thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Love you, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. bye.